So we'll come back and we'll set up the open AI stuff shortly. But I think what we need to do is we need to sort of create a table to store our ideas. So I said create a super base table to store our ideas as these will be persisted in the database and not on the device. So what will happen now is it will kind of work out kind of what it needs to do. It will go and create some SQL scripts for us that will kind of hopefully just simply just copy and paste those with inside a super base itself. In fact, it looks like it's going to go and do that now. Um, and we'll come back in just a moment. We'll kind of do that step. Okay, so that's all done. I'm just going to hit the accept tool. So it looks like it's created a, uh, a kind of a, a script here for us. So hopefully we can just simply just kind of copy and paste this lot into the SQL editor. So let's just go to the SQL editor. Let's just paste that in here. I'm just going to select it all there um, and then hit run. There we go. That's what we want to see. We want to see no rows return. So I now go to the table editor. We can now got our ideas table waiting for ideas to be associated with our user ID. So that's looking pretty good. So of course we can't kind of create ideas at this moment in time because we haven't implemented the open AI bit. We'll come back and do that in just a moment. But what I want to do is I kind of want this recent ideas to kind of show the ideas that will come back from the database itself. So I'm going to add another prompt in. Okay, so on the home page, I would like the recent ideas to come from the database, but only the ones which I decide to mark as a favorite. So we're going to make that call out to ChatGPT. It will then hopefully return back a load of ideas, and then I'll mark those as a favorite, and then they'll be persisted within the database. So I'm going to let that do its thing right now, and um, that should set us up then quite nicely then to perhaps... Uh, at least get the open AI bit set up, which is very, very simple actually, because we've inside the services here, we have this open AI service. Now we haven't, this hasn't been created. This is, this is actually was created by Dream, uh, Dreamflow. And you can see here, there's already set up the API URL here to the completions API, but it's just asking for the open AI key. Now just off screen here, I've got my key. So why that's the kind of generate in the background there, I'm just gonna kind of add that actually in here itself so i'm just going to paste that in so that's now all set so um, i'm just going to save that so then we know that's all in place so i'm kind of hoping that when we kind of run this feature of inside our mobile application that it will um, kind of do its thing it will just kind of uh, kind of create these ideas um, now with the prompt that i've just kind of added here i'm kind of hoping it's also going to kind of do um, a little bit of a setup for us in terms of marking some of these uh, as favorites that will come back and then they will then be persist in the database so I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to accept all here. And I'm just going to do a uh, sort of shift R here to do kind of hot restart here. So let's give this a bit of a whirl. Let's see if we can actually get something come back from ChatGPT. So let's say that I'm creating an education application. Hit continue. My target audience, I'm just going to say is students. Continue. Technologies. So let's, let's do something for fitness. Uh, and I'll say education as well. Hit continue. Now, to describe the problem, um, to keep students more healthy, something like that. Hit continue. Unique feature. Mm, I don't know. Uh, let's let's say um, be timer based or something like that. I have no idea. Hit generate ideas. Now, let's fingers crossed here that the open AI bit is going to work for us. So hit generate ideas. Okay, that's a good start. I've never not seen this screen before. So it's uh, got a nice little animation there, which is quite nice. Uh, AI is crafting innovative app concepts based on your inputs. Okay, let's uh, leave this to do its thing. Wow, look at that, it's come back straight away. Look, we've got some ideas, Edu Fit Timer. Um, so it's got some details here, so let's see if we can view the details. Oh wow, so we've got a, a screen now that's been created, uh, which has kind of got some, some suggestions for us. Um, we've got some edit options, I'm not gonna press on those just at the moment. Um, you can see I've got, some, I've got a little favorite option as one. Well. I've got like a little favorite option here. So. Now we've got nothing in the database at the moment. Now this could be quite wild. This is because I've, I've, uh, I'm kind of assuming this is going to work. So let's hit the little heart. Okay, we've got a heart. Let's head over to our database. Has that been added into the database? Let's do a refresh. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. So actually, the the three applications have been added into the database that it's kind of come from ChatGPT. And yeah, let's mark that one as a favourite. So, um, okay, I wasn't kind of expecting all of the applications to kind of be persisted to the database, but I suppose that's quite good from a history perspective. Um, let's just go back here to the, let's go back here a step. 
And um, you can see, uh, right, okay, that's pretty good. So on the favorite ideas, it's kind of now got the option there. Um, uh, I've got no details yet, but I've got I've got the seal. So I've kind of got like a favorite screen kind of all listed here on the tab. So it's certainly done a lot more than I was expecting. But the great thing is, is they are coming back from the database. Um, if I go to see all, um, it's just showing me the one there, but it's, 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 is it actually filtering here on the, so the same recent, can I take all of this stuff off? Oldest, okay, so it doesn't look like that's having really probably any effect, but I probably wouldn't see because I haven't got anything. Okay, something going on with the row there. Education, so there's no filtering going on, but um, at least I'm kind of seeing, uh, kind of at least my favorite, but I've got no option now to see all, but maybe we can kind of crack that. So um, let's, let's do this and how can I see all non-favorite ideas from the database? Okay, let's see if we can extend the functionality then. Um, so it looks like it's gonna go away, have a little think about it. And uh, let's leave that prompt to play out and then we'll come back and see what the result is. It's done its thing, it's come back and give me a bit, of, a bit of a description to kind of what it's kind of done here. But it looks like it's created a new a page for me, um, which is cool. And it's, it says it's got um, easy access from the home screen. So let's try just doing a shift restart here. Uh, what have we got? What can I see? Uh, have I got any, any easy access here? Um, can't see that. Um, okay. No. Um, either I'm missing it or let's have a look here. Oh, what's this little option that's just kind of floating above here? Okay. All right. Well, I'm not quite impressed where it's actually put it, um, but um, I can see some errors appearing in the console here when I kind of click on these, but that's okay. We can correct that. But um, okay, that's quite nice. I'm not quite sure that I like that kind of floating option there, but of course we can probably just prompt that to kind of uh, move that somewhere else. Maybe let's create another tab item. So let's, uh, let's prompt it for that create a tab item instead to show a non favorite ideas let's hit enter so again we're just going to leave that to kind of prompt and let's see what it comes up with okay here we go again let's now just do a shift r here okay there we go we've got our all ideas tab that's showing these here pretty smart again i could probably not click on any of these yet i'm still getting that error coming up in that way in fact it doesn't look as errors you're just kind of spitting out oh there is an error there um but it's it's certainly bringing out some some details there but we can we can sort that one out so that's good so we now can differentiate and that little uh, weird kind of floating icon is now kind of disappeared let's correct this one here we can see no idea details so let's prompt for that change so on the home page when i select an idea nothing is displayed on the page so we'll come back and see how that works. Okay, it's just coming to an end. So let's just accept all here. Just do a refresh or a shift a hot restart. Uh, click on those. And there we go. Looks like we've got some details. I've um, got a little bit of an overflow going on down here, but that's just because we've got this remove option here. So the, let's have a look at this. So this is the one that we've got in our favorites. If I just select this then, let's go down to remove from favorites. Let's see if it actually updates it. It's gone. Let's go back here. So that's good. The favorites now gone. If I go to all ideas, then we can see they're all back again. Now, does this work for us? Yes, well, this has now corrected the problem. So we've now can go back in and we can add that one back to our favorites here, go back and go to our favorites and there it is. So that is looking uh, pretty, pretty slick actually. So um, so we're getting quite functional actually. It's quite quite exciting here, building out applications and not writing any code. Imagine having this uh, 20 years ago, how much time there we would have saved. So there's a bit of an odd oddity that's going on here with kind of the title. But again, that's just gonna be like a, a little prompt to kind of fix that, I think. Um, we can simply enhance this if we would want to add new options in and all this kind of stuff. Um, let's just go back to the all ideas here. Let's just click on these and just make sure we're not getting no errors in the console. We're certainly not getting any errors in the console, which is quite smart. I did notice we've got this like edit option up here. So I wonder if this actually works. So let's just call this one uh, super stretch, something like that, and just tick that there. So, okay, so it's kind of updated on the screen and it has changed it there. Let's have a quick look in the database and see if it's gone and changed it. Hit refresh. No, so it looks like it's only doing it with inside the application. So that that is what we are gonna to wanna to now correct. Okay, correct the ability to edit and update the idea in the database. When I make changes, these are not persisted. Uh, persisted. So let's give this a whirl and uh, again, we'll come back and check and see if it's fixed it. It's just finishing off again. Let's hit the accept all here. Just do a shift R here. 
And let's see if we can now edit this. So fit a quest learn. Let's just change this to fit learn, something like that. Hit that there. Okay, changes save successfully. Got a little banner at the bottom there. Let's go and have a look in the database. And there we go, fit learn. Wow, so we are seeing database updates, which is awesome. Now you've got a little copy option up here. I'm not quite sure what the what that will actually do or what it will copy to the clipboard, but I'm assuming that it was just gonna take its information and, and put that. And of course we could check that out. We've got a little share option down here. Um, not quite sure, I was just looking like it's copying it to the clipboard at the moment. So again, we can probably enhance that just a little bit more. And one thing that we, we have got in here, we've got this kind of search of the favorites so let's if i were to then mark maybe another one as a favorite so let's go to all ideas let's add that one in there as well let's uh, go back uh oh oh there we go sorry i wonder if i was expecting a back button then right so uh so that's now in there if i go back to favorites we can see those here i'm noticing though on the home page we don't seem to see those now if i hit refresh Maybe that's all it is. There he is, just a little uh, a pull down refresh. So maybe a little bit of a quirk there that we need to fix. But again, that's just gonna be, it's quite straightforward. And if um, we set up Superbase to be real time, then we should expect to see these uh, these kind of favorites there. Um, I would say that probably in an application, you probably wouldn't have the heart here because we know that these are our favorites. So we could probably drop that heart here um, and then make sure that we're doing all of our work inside here by selecting favorites um, or going in here and, and marking these and taking these out here um, to not be a favorite. So again, just a few sort of tweaks that we can make in the application. Uh, let's see if we can implement the search functionality. 